Indian scammers are destroying the lives of innocent people every single day. A lot of them claim it's because of poverty and there's no jobs over there that they have to do this just to provide and put food on the table. Whereas this particular scammer, which I'll be showcasing tonight, is not. He does this simply because he is cruel, bored, and evil. Let's save a victim. All our money were stolen by you guys. And we are jobless, we don't have money, we are very poor. So what will we do? How will we earn? These are the words of a scammer from a previous confrontation who has no idea that I am still watching him scam. Right now, he is logged in and controlling a victim's computer via any desk while he has sent her to purchase gift cards. He has logged onto her Facebook and is sending her friends and family incredibly rude messages. He has also started messaging people within her political telegram groups the same style of messages, so unfortunately she will likely be thrown out of the community that she very much cares for. I obtained this victim's AnyDesk ID and login password that the scammer had set. I immediately shut down his computer. I then connected myself into her device and changed her AnyDesk password to something that I would know just so that the scammer couldn't get back in. From there I downloaded a single file just to obtain her contact phone number. Sadly, despite trying to call her many times, I had zero response. With the scammer completely off and there was no way to regain entry, it was time to tidy up the mess that he had made. So for starters, I checked her applications for other remote softwares that he may have installed. I then proceeded to put a post on her Facebook explaining that she had been hacked and to disregard anything that had might have been said, but more importantly to call their bank if they had sent her any money. I did notice that she was speaking to a Nigerian romance scammer, so I decided to cut the conversation by saying Alay, which is effectively a term that scammers use to reveal themselves to one another. And just for good measure, I said the words Omar Ware, which translates in Yoruba as you are a fool. So after doing all of this, it was time for me to part ways, but not before leaving a message on her computer and giving her son a call. Hello? Yeah, hi, can I speak to Andrew? That's all, please. He's not here. Oh, okay. Can I take a message? Yeah, I just need to double check something. Does the name Suan mean anything uh, to him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so my, my name's Dan, I'm a private investigator. Basically, Suan's computer has been hacked. Had hackers uh, basically send rude messages on Facebook. I've removed everything that was wrong on her computer. I've left a message on her computer as well. And I've also put a post on her Facebook account. I don't want any money or anything, but if it seems weird that she's posted or that there's a message on her computer, then she just needs to be wary about that, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. No worries at all. I'll leave you guys to it. Just have a wonderful day. You take care. Okay, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm, bye. I'll, I'll just say you once this job is uh, like this business gets over right we would find out a new way to scam